Hello, assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So in this video, I will be telling you how to enable your Thunderbolt 3. So I have been away from YouTube for a very long time. It's been one year plus uh, properly free. So I will be making YouTube videos regularly. The topic for today's video is Thunderbolt 3 and I have also many other questions about Hackintosh and the future of Hackintosh and all. So I will be making a specific video about the future of Hackintosh what we see by 2030 so giving you a general point of view in this video is that we are very safe right now hackintosh isn't going anywhere for next five to ten years if you have any confusion about that that will be removed in the next video but for right now hackintosh will be there for 10 years at least so we are seeing uh, hackintosh made on intel 12 generation processors and we have right now I'm using Intel 11 generation processor which is not supported by Apple directly but it's working uh, pretty fine and without any issue so talking about updates I think there will be at least eight to or nine updates that we will be getting on the Mac Pro and if we get a Mac OS update on Mac Pro and iMac Pro that means it will be available for other Xeon systems and Intel systems as well because the kernel will be written for them and that will work for the Hackintosh. So let's go back to our Thunderbolt issue. So the Thunderbolt is a very important part of Hackintosh and very important part of Mac OS itself. Uh, Apple have used the Thunderbolt in a very good way more than any Windows or Linux system. So they use a lot of different peripherals that work on Thunderbolt and we have audio interfaces, we have cameras and we have other uh, NVMe drives that work on Thunderbolt so right now you can see I am using a Thunderbolt enabled dock so this is a Thunderbolt dock Thunderbolt 3.0 dock my system is Thunderbolt 4 compatible and right now I'm using a Z590 designer D motherboard so I have all the complete files that you need to make your Z590 D or any of the Z590 series motherboard compatible so we can use these files for any of the 4 gen uh, Thunderbolt cards so don't worry if you have a PCI card then you have to do a slight change in the settings but the rest of it works out of the box so let's begin with the process and let me show you that the Thunderbolt is working so we go here in IO registry we write NHI NHI is basically uh, address for our Thunderbolt card if you have a Mac, you can write NHI there as well. It will show you the same stuff. So we click here and then look. So this is the NHI, which means it's a Thunderbolt enabled system. Thunderbolt, PCI, Maple, Intel, GH854, Maple Ridge Titan, uh, Thunderbolt 3. So it's enabled. We have settings in it. And if we go down here, this is the PCI bridge, which is given to the Thunderbolt dock. And you can see this is the PCI address and I have working ports over the dock. If we go here in the settings system report, you can see that we have Thunderbolt dock settings and everything shown up. It, it normally a normal dock does not have so many options in it. So it's a way we don't show the Thunderbolt here because we don't have a Thunderbolt uh, firmware match with macOS. So because of the macOS have their own Thunderbolt and the kernel controls the Thunderbolt controller so it does not show up here because Mac OS kernel isn't uh, able to control the Thunderbolt uh, device directly because when we have Windows system we have a separate firmware for our Thunderbolt controller if we go to the network we can see we have our Ethernet of the Thunderbolt here this is the proof that Thunderbolt is working uh, the rest is just to clear up the confusion that we are getting our Thunderbolt working so what we do next now we will basically see how to get these files to the places they belong and how to get our Thunderbolt card working. So first we have to mount our EFI partition which I have already mounted. We go EFI OC. So in the ACPI section you have to place this. So remember if you are using Z590 motherboard then this SSDT Akintosh DROM will work for you. I will make custom SSDs for 490, Z490, Z390 and PCI enabled Thunderbolt cards all you have to do is place the files into the specific folders I will ease the issue for you out and when I will upload the files on the Google Drive you have to download the specific one which uh, depends on your system okay so system specs for me it's Z590 and ACPI we go here and we place it we already have the file here we go replace 
and the other one is the text we have to move the text into the text folder we say replace and now the last one is the EFI drivers for the Thunderbolt card we go to we go to where's the drivers and we move the file here so that's it that's all you have to do then you have to do one more thing or oh, wait a second we have to one more thing we have to go back and we have to open the config.plst and you have to enter these files here so let me close this you have to what you have to do is scan browse and then go to your EFI EFI OC ACPI for ACPI you just go there and select the Hackintosh drum and open this it will show up here make sure it's enabled then go down in UFI drivers make sure you have Thunderbolt force power there which is this one if you don't show this scan and browse instead go OC drivers make sure you click this and you open and for the Thunderbolt text you go to kernel make sure the con Thunderbolt text is enabled for this scan and browse go to OC text okay open that okay so it will show up here that's the three things you have to do in this so the next thing is setting up the uh, BIOS drivers you don't have to do anything for your default drivers to work okay all you have to do is just reset your BIOS and it will go to the default settings but still I will make a video of the drivers and of the BIOS settings so let's restart and check the BIOS settings we are using save the config exit and then let's let me save the screen recording and then we will restart so we are in the BIOS and if you are using a gigabyte motherboard then probably you will have a similar layout so we will have to go to the settings and in IO ports and down here in Thunderbolt we have our Thunderbolt configuration so it will be a little different if you're using an ASUS motherboard or an ASPROC motherboard or any other company motherboard but it will be a very similar uh, set layout if you're using a Gigabyte motherboard so for the settings we have to enable the discrete Thunderbolt support weak from Thunderbolt devices as well native OS security for TBT is enabled uh, you can try to disable it if doesn't if your system does not get the Thunderbolt drivers without this. So I'm using a very custom settings and it is normally uh, not used by most of the Hackintoshes, but for me it works the best and gives me the more stable uh, settings. So here I have enabled all Thunderbolt USB Thunderbolt boot support, Titan Ridge OS UP. So I use this and TB. T dynamic I use both of these enabled otherwise these are disabled and you can uh, use them as disabled but after that GPIO 3 force power is enabled timer is 2 millisecond enabled and here it's the simple basic default settings so that's all you have to do in the Thunderbolt section of your BIOS and the rest is what I have already explained so let's boot back to the system and see if we are still getting our Thunderbolt working so we have booted back into the Mac OS and let's go back to the settings and see if we are having our Thunderbolt uh, hub working. So that's it. So basically these are very very simple settings you need to do to make your Thunderbolt working on your Hackintosh with Mac OS Monterey and Z590 chipset. The latest Maple Ridge chipset of the Thunderbolt controller is very supportive with the Mac OS and it works most of the hiccups. So that was a very simple video for you guys to make your Thunderbolt 3 working and I will and, uh, I will add more files into the drive for multiple motherboards and if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you dislike it give the thumbs down let me know your question in the comment section down below also you can contact me on patreon for in-person help uh, we do hackintoshes windows machine network servers and a lot of other stuff there as well so keep that in mind and until the very next video please take care allah hafiz